Hey, I also, I started laughing last night because I was introduced to this subreddit, reddit.com slash r slash stupid food. I don't know if you're familiar with this. Um, one of the posts got me laughing so hard that I think my wife thought that my brain broke. Let me see if I could, uh, if I can get it up here. I don't even know how to describe why it's funny, except to say that this is genuinely, I, I think it might be the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And I mean that with, with complete sincerity. I think this, this might be the most humorous thing I've seen in my entire life. We ordered the $1,000 tomahawk steak from Poppy Steak, okay? And this, if you've never seen this, apparently this is what happens when you order the $1,000 steak from Poppy Steak, okay? You ready for this? We ordered the $1,000 tomahawk from Poppy Steak. Hey, 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 hey. Look at that, man. Holy. Anyway, I don't know. There's just something about that. That post, I, I must have watched it all the way through like 10 times. It made me laugh to the point of like hysteria, like every single time. It's got to be one of the funniest posts I've ever seen in my life. Can you imagine being the kind of person who orders that and goes like, this shit is awesome? I mean, I, I'm actually, I resent the fact that there are people in chat that are like, it's not even cooked. I'm like, there's, yeah, I mean, you don't need to criticize it. It's, it's obviously horrible like everything about it is wrong the atmosphere the presentation the disrespect on a culinary standpoint obviously like it's not even edible the the dude with the the cattle brander just ruining the exact center of this expensive cut of meat but then mostly what i love is the guys like just going hey 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 Hey, it's so fun. Then there's another one. It's from Salt Bay's restaurant. Oh my God. It's almost exactly the same, um, including the briefcase and everything. But before it comes out, a bunch of like people in fake military gear with like laser scopes and night vision goggles come out and go like, like they clear the room so that the briefcase can be delivered to the table. Yeah, so I, sp I don't know, I spent like 15 minutes last night watching just Salt Bay videos. This shit is so funny. Please show it. No, I've already, I've stolen too much intellectual property. It's like, it's, it's steak in a briefcase. Okay, I already like a little crazy, a little stupid with it. And then when he closes the briefcase and then opens it up and then closes the briefcase and opens it back up, you're like, oh man, it's so good. Now, as long as people get a kick out of it, it's fine. No, actually, it deserves to be mocked more, to be honest with you. It's uh, emblematic of everything that I feel is, well, not everything, but many things that I feel are like culturally wrong. Like if you're gonna be rich, cultivate taste, okay? The, the greatest, well, I mean, again, not the greatest. One of the greatest sins of, of wealth is, is garishness. To have money but no taste, it's like seeing, you know, uh, there's got to be a good metaphor here. Like a fish with a 70-inch vertical. You're not playing basketball down there. Like, can you imagine the kind of people that are like, hey, let's go to Pappy's Steak. I love spending $1,000 on the experience of a bunch of frat boys coming to my table as if it's like my sixth birthday at the Olive Garden. And they go, oh, 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 and they got the gloves on and everything. Oh, oh, oh. Like, can't you just be like an old rich person and like look down your nose at people less fortunate on your way to the opera or something like that. And then when you leave the opera, there's like, Joe Chill's like, give me your money. And then Martha Wayne is like trying to show uh, humanity. It's like, please, we could, and then, and then the pearls scatter through the alley and then the bats, the bats, you know what I'm talking about? Anyway, I, d I saw uh, a many videos of the gold uh, steak as well. A $100 steak wrapped in $10 gold foil on Amazon. 
or from Amazon, I should say, served in like a, a briefcase or like a hollowed out boulder or something like that. Put Gordon back on the screen. Hold on, though. It's not going to be right. There he is. That's... I can only do it when my camera's back in the default position. Because I didn't link uh, Gordon to my... Um, I didn't link him to my camera frame. I didn't think that far ahead. I would love to see Gordon Ramsay go to the Jersey Shore Poppy Steak $1,000 briefcase restaurant, man. Dude, I, when I was on r slash stupid food last night, like, don't even get me started. Why are the stupidest foods on the planet? And I'm not saying they're stupid, like, in abstract. I mean, like, in practice. We, we were talking about the $1,000 steak served in a Quentin Tarantino briefcase where, like, one of Donald Trump's sons smashes it with a, a hot branding iron and just completely ruins the meat. And then they go, oh, oh, oh. anyway, um, why are the stupid? I, I have a theory, which is that the stupidest foods are actually from a result of the pickiest eaters. I know that people are probably not going to be stoked about that. I know they're probably not going to love that I'm saying it. But the, the two most common stupid foods I see on the internet are steaks and burgers. Where in, instead of making like a, a good meal, they're like, what if we just like fucked with a steak or made like an insane hamburger? That's my hypothesis. Would love to know your thoughts, unless you're a picky eater, in which case I'm like Tommy Lee Jones in um, The Fugitive. I don't care. I'm a picky eater. At first I was like, what the hell? And now I agree. Wait, but or are, are you just saying that because it's it's like the the squeaks impression of me, okay? I think you're just saying it because it's the squeaks impression. I, I resent it. I mean, there are um, there's stupid foods that are not burgers, like all the fake TikTok ones that are just designed to make you angry, or alternatively, be like insane fetish videos. Apparently, I didn't realize that. Um, but the one where the lady. Um, puts like the uncooked spaghetti through the hot dogs and I love the dudes like reacting to it but he's just crying in his car put the uncooked manicotti in the in the dish slice the cheddar cheese with a pair of kitchen shears like it's pop that right in the oven pop you right in the mouth that's a classic I did I saw I, I've never seen cotton candy in the toilet but I have seen uh, cotton candy made in the washing machine. It said, an easy way to make cotton candy. And then the lady poured like a bunch of sugar into her washing machine and then poured uh, like a soda into where you put the liquid detergent and then put f aluminum foil. Sorry, the dryer, the dryer, not the washer. No, but she put, no, it was the, it was the, washer because she put the liquid soap in the liquid soap holder and then she uh she put aluminum foil on the lint trap and then it was like you know fast forward 20 minutes and then she pulls the lint trap out and there's a bunch of like blue cotton candy in the lint trap and i'm like do we deserve destruction i'm saving why is there a lint trap in the washer wait a minute that's a great point what? Okay, so what did you... Maybe there's some... On some dryers, maybe there's a compartment you can pour, like, a, a fabric softener into. That makes... Okay, yeah, she probably put it on the... She probably put it in the fabric softener hole. My mistake. Anyway, again, this is all beside the point, just for the record. The point is, don't do that. It's not the device that was the wrongness, okay? Well, I mean, it is. But it's not, like, that specific about what type of laundry machinical it is or whatever. 